All right, what's going on? Today I'm gonna be showing you how to create step and repeat backgrounds on Photoshop for step and repeat banners or just to make some kind of cool graphics. Uh, it's really, really quick. It's like a five minute video or shorter. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. We'll answer them, put some video requests there as well, and uh, I'll get to them. Let's, uh, yeah, I, I don't know, let's just do it. All right, so let's get started. I got a basic background. I'll use a black one so you guys can see easier. But we're going to be creating a repeat background where everything is repeated like a step and repeat banner. Uh, you can do this with objects, photos, text, anything you want. I'm going to do it with text here. Um, so let's type in... Uh, uh, what should we type in? Let's see. iPhone... Well, iPhone 7 Plus. Well, yeah. Esports tournament. Okay, I'm gonna make this bigger and thicker so you guys can see it. That's what she said. Uh, let's make it bold. Okay, I'm gonna change the word esports to red. Okay, I like that. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do you're gonna go on your keyboard, and you're gonna hit Alt, you're going to drag it up and put it so it's perfectly even on all sides let's see okay there we go you can see the little lines match it up right right there okay um let me go over a couple pixels do the same thing again this one's off a little bit move that back it takes a second sorry sometimes photoshop doesn't want to snap everything Okay, there we go. So now I'm going to take these two layers on the right hand side, hit shift on the keyboard, hit that, and hit group. I'm going to create a group with them. I'm going to convert to smart object. Now this is one layer. The reason I did that is because if you get a lot of text on your screen, uh, like with a step and repeat banner and large document sizes, it can actually uh, use up all the RAM on your computer. And I've actually had that happen before. So, hit Alt again, move that up. So, see how it said 0.43? You kind of want to make sure it's even right there. It'll tell you, 0.43. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put these in a group and convert to Smart Object. I'm going to duplicate that whole group and drag over the side. Same thing again. Group, Smart Object, Alt. If you want to keep it perfectly even, hit Shift on the keyboard your mouse down and it'll always go up and down it will never go left and right you see I can't move it and that's about right give it, take a couple pixels same thing again convert to smart object and I would suggest keep doing the smart object thing you don't have to but do it at least once every couple of minutes I'm just doing it a lot to show you stress the fact that it can actually slow your computer down and I have decent specs on mine so just we'll do that all right we're gonna copy this Give or take a couple pixels. And same thing again. I'm going to zoom out so you can kind of see a little bit better. And hit Alt again. And move that down a couple pixels. You can see some of it's a little bit spaced out more right here and right here. It looks like these three lines, but or these two lines, but you can't really tell when you see the big picture. So you can see the outline of how big your step and repeat is. So I'm going to do a group again, I'm going to do convert to smart object, and I'm going to duplicate this to the right hand side. can't really see that, so I'm going to move this one over just a little bit. And I, I encourage you to hit shift on the keyboard while you're doing this, just because it uh, keeps your layer perfectly lined up. Okay, that's pretty huge. So I'm going to go ahead and group, convert to smart object, and since this is pretty huge, I'm going to shrink it down just a tad bit. And make it diagonal by hitting shift on the keyboard, this right block. You can see it doesn't fit exactly in this corner up here, so I'm going to get up on the keyboard, then left, up, left, up, left, make it match better. About right there. And 
I'm going to implement my background I made earlier. So it looks kind of bad. There's a lot of text on there. Right click this. Change the opacity. And now you have a cool, pretty, pretty cool background. Uh, I'm going to do one more thing just so you guys can kind of see how this will look. You can make it black and white. I always like to make the, the background black and white like that. And keep the step and repeat text on there. And actually change the opacity to this. So looks cool. But yeah, that is how you do a step and repeat. The same process can be done with uh, any image. Let me pull an image up here. Got a lot of files on here. Sorry about that. Let's find a cool image. We got a Wii console. Shrink that down. Same thing can be done. Copy. 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 And group it. Then convert to smart objects. Alt. Group. You don't have to do smart object every time like this, but um, I do it when I'm making this video just to stress the point that you should be doing it. Literally, change the opacity. Now you have a bunch of Wii's step and repeat. So it's pretty freaking simple to do. When you change this to a smart object, if you change the opacity already, now that shrunken opacity is your max opacity. So you can always undo that. Change the background to black and white. There's a step and repeat. Pretty easy, pretty simple. Uh, I can do a more advanced one where you can you know, swap this image for an Xbox and a PS4 and make it different ones, but same thing. You kind of get how to do it. And that is pretty much the whole video. Alright, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next tutorial.